We just managed to find these lions and we are so incredibly excited. Yay! After all looking for them, we found some tracks and then headed off and then they were. So super excited that uh, they are actually here and they've been walking quite a lot from where they were last seen this morning. They are very close to the camp, so they have pretty much walked half of the property in a day pretty much or in the last few hours yeah you must be tired you guys have been going on and on and on now we only have a clear view of one of these girls and i think there's another one at the back now there was another guy that was helping us so i'm gonna call him in just l spread the good news abel abel come in uh, we've located the Nkuhuman Shlambi. We are on Central, close to Giraffe Dip, south of the road. Ah. Okay, copy. <laughs> he was very happy to hear that we found them because they have walked <laughs> quite a long distance from where they were this morning and we thought that they were going to stick around there, but it seems like they've come all the way down. Hey, firm. Now, like, like I was saying, I can only see two heads. Uh, did you, can you see another head, Seb, perhaps yeah, from... One I can only see there. two heads. Luckily, Seb is in a higher vantage point for me, so he can see a little bit more. So exciting! Uh, yeah, I think they do look sleepy. They have been walking, uh, like, uh, it's amazing how much they've been walking yesterday. Run about 6 o'clock, they started moving, they crossed onto Juma. Then likely they walked all of the property and then they went all the way to Bufalsuk, rested there for a little while, so they crossed pretty much south to north or east to west, all of, um, all of the property and then they went up and carried on going up and then sometime during the day they came down and then in the heat of the day just when it's been the hottest then they carried on walking all the way south pretty much midway between where they started from yesterday morning uh, yesterday evening so my goodness they have been walking a lot Chitty Chatty Meg, you're asking roughly how much do we think that they've walked in what night? Well, I'm gonna go with about maybe 15 k's. Hey Sam, what do you mm, think? At least, yeah. Yeah, I think, well, obviously not in a straight line, but they've been turning and going and then backtracking themselves. So I'm gonna think that in the, la la in the last 24 hours, they've pro probably walked somewhere along 20 k's, just judging by all the movements that we've seen them do. So yeah, no wonder you guys are sleepy. I think my heart is still beating very fast. Lorena, you say that they're looking beautiful as usual. I completely agree. They are looking stunning as usual. The Inkahumas are always such a pretty pride of lions and they always seem to be in such healthy conditions. And I wonder if perhaps they're not now back on the trail of the buffalo. Trails Dam is still at a certain distance from where we are. But uh, I wonder if maybe they're not just carrying on. Let me just... Right, sorry guys, I just need to guide somebody in. Yeah, if you come on Central, then you will see me on the road. Sorry. Alright. Um, pause, you're wondering how old the lioness has got to be before she gives birth, or before she has her first litter, so... Uh, Normally, in most cases, an average would be around about three, four years old once they become adults and self-sufficient. So they can go into hit, I would say, in most cases when they're about four years old, depending on the area and, and the conditions that they've been brought up in. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer, but I would say around about there. Oh, looking very sleepy, are you not? Like I said, I think my heart is still pounding. We were just sort of getting ready to lose hope because it's a very thick block, very thick area, but yes. <laughs> Aquarius, you say you have gremlins in your stomach and this is such an amazing sign. I like that expression, gremlins in our stomach. I think that's probably a keeper. And yes, I'm also feeling the gremlins in my stomach and not all around me, which is 
even better but oh very happy that these girls have made their return sorry go again okay just carry on uh coming east and then you'll just see us uh, east from giraffe dip uh if you look to towards the western side of the road then you'll see us you won't miss us Come east from Giraffe Deep, and then you will see us. Okay, <laughs> copy. Well, how's this? Just a bit for the record. Seems like one of the guys that was helping us look for them earlier on, and we heard the car, he went past, didn't see us, because we are just as well camouflaged as, <laughs> as the lions, and then now he's had to, to turn around and come back. So how's that? Even us, we can blend perfectly well with our beautiful Wendy, all in green, in the in the bush. Now, like I said, very exciting times. I can only see... You said you saw a third one. No, no, no. Just, the just two. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder. I, I can't see the cubs around here, so maybe we're just going to let them settle a little bit and then we'll try going around, see if perhaps there are more lions sleeping on the other side. Um, could very well be. that We only had tracks for two, though, on the road. So I wonder if maybe these two females have gone off and then they've left another female far up in the block with the rest of the cubs while they got hunting could be but um, I think we'll only know more in a little bit when we move around so I think actually let's give it a try let's see if maybe we can head into the corner where the other one is and put an end to this mystery of how many lions we're looking at and if the view from there is not the greatest then we'll come back to this one okay. are we ready yeah you can go Okay, Gabby, I think we saw you drive past earlier. You won't miss us. Ah, there she's going towards the next lion, so it's a good thing that we are moving around. Ooh. Very big branch here. Exciting times ahead. All right, there's another branch here. Ooh. guys go <gasps> Abel Abel come in Abel sorry not your sure after I com made a completely mistake that just come towards yellow road uh, junction <laughs> I see three. Sorry, I made a mistake. Not sure up tip. I thought uh, I had said Niala Road South uh, Junction Central. So if you carry on coming east from there, then you will see us. Yeah. No, just carry on coming along Central. Just carry on driving east along Central from that junction. Whoopsie, I made a mistake and told them the wrong name. I was so excited and convinced. Can you reverse? I can reverse. Hey, firm, just carry on coming east on Central. Just carry on driving towards Cheetah Cut Line from where you are. Okay, copy. All right, you said a little bit back. Sorry, guys, it's it's a lot of um, chit chat on the radio, and unfortunately, I made a mistake by accident. But the guy is coming around here. Okay, now only three of them around here. Reports were that there was one female with one male, so that's a fourth one. Perhaps the fifth one is somewhere with the cubs in the block. Oh, very sleepy. Hmm, they're not looking particularly skinny. But uh, not looking particularly skinny, but perhaps they've been busy hunting and that's what they've been moving around. Richard, you're wondering 
you're wondering how many uh, lions in this particular pride. Well, it's five females and six cubs. So we're missing two females and one cub. We do know that one of the females was with, um, with two males, and then that lives one female and the cubs somewhere around here. I don't think they are here. Perhaps they, like we said, they just left the cubs somewhere in the drainage line because it's very thick around there, so it's perfect for them to stay in while these three went off hunting. Hello, girl. Fasting times ahead. Very sleepy, the three of them. But it's incredible. We always say that lions like to sleep at night and they move around when it's not that hot. They left them run about 12 o'clock or maybe maybe run about 11-ish this afternoon. And like we said earlier, it's been 28 and 83 degrees and very, very hot today. And that's the time that they have chosen to start moving around. Which proves that animals can always surprise us. That's the paw, the print on the sand. That's definitely what led us in this direction. Very happy. It was a very, very pretty print on the road. And for a moment there, we doubted it ourselves because there were some tracks called in on this road this morning. So that's where things got a bit more interesting because they've done a loop on themselves on their own tracks. They've come back pretty much on the tracks that they have been walking this morning. Whew. Exciting time. So guys, I'm just trying to explain to one of the guys how to get here. Okay, if you just go around, if you go around this, then your booga there's stream of fuzzy this side. If you just go around, or if not, I think it's maybe a bit more open on this side. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought <laughs> I got so excited. I'd said giraffe dip. <laughs> All right, Whew. very good news. Now we can obviously try and stick around with them, see perhaps what they get up to this evening. Hopefully they will start roaring a bit later on, although they were quite vocal in the morning and during the night, so I am hoping that they might do that this morning as well. And both female and male lions can roar, and it's possibly the most beautiful sound that there is out here in the bush. It is something very unique. I can't believe you two, you three, actually, walking around in the middle of the day when it's been so hot. I think is one of those funny things. Again, everything that's ever been written on a textbook, there's always one pride of lions that might prove you wrong and just <laughs> do whatever it is that they feel like. And it just shows when the conditions are good that they'll move off. <gasps> Let's go to Taylor. It seems like we're going to have an amazing drive.